Scooby-Doo Curse of the Speed Demon has the gang go to a race with WWE and and the demon Inferno attacks the race. So the positives on the film, Inferno, the monster, is a cool design. He's just like red, almost look like he almost looks like hot coals or something. And he has like red eyes and like black gloves that have sharp, like sharp claws. And his truck is pretty cool too. It's just a black, a giant black truck with a scorpion tail that can attack people and shoot lasers. And uh, another positive is all the other race cars uh, that everyone drives have cool designs. There's a sandwich or like a sub sandwich car, a bull car, and a train car. They're all pretty creative, cool designs. And that's it for positives. So on to the mixed. Uh, I'm glad there's a backstory for the monster. Um, because, but, um, it seems a very, it just feels very generic. Because someone dies, comes back as a ghost. Because the backstory is Inferno was a race car guy long time ago. And he was racing and then he, I think, went too fast, fell off a cliff, died. Now he's back uh, for, the mo for the movie. So, glad there's a backstory, but it's just pretty generic. As someone dies, they come back as ghost. And that's it for and that's it for mixed onto the negatives. It feels really weird to that WWE is now doing a race because you have Mr. McMahon in here and just other WWE stars. I don't oh like the Miz is back in here. Uh but it just feels really weird for it to be a race. I mean, I understand they can't do the same thing like them wrestling again. I get that, but it's just really weird for it, for it to be a race with WWE. Another negative is there's no John Cena in this movie, which which was a great character in WrestleMania Mystery. Kind of weird that they don't have him back in it. But, whatever. And the last negative is, for some reason, near the end of the film or something, everyone just started to fight with each other, and it seemed very stupid in one scene. I don't even remember how it started, but everyone just started punching people or flipping them on their backs, breaking tables and whatnot, getting on each other. It just seemed really stupid. It really didn't feel like it added anything to the movie. But that's it for the negatives. Um, so, in the end, the, this movie is just really boring. Um, I saw this when I first bought this movie um five years ago i think i think this movie came out in 2016 so five years ago or close to five years ago so and ever since then i never watched it again this last time was my second time watching it and that kind of just speaks on its own that i just don't think it's a good movie um and it just felt kind of uninspiring because it has WWE again and it's just a racing mystery like other Scooby-Doo episodes like in What's New Scooby-Doo they have um the racing one with the worm and the racing one where they're at an actual track with the skeleton monster and I'm sure there's other Scooby-Doo mysteries that have something to do with the race so 
just very uninspired. If you like racing Scooby-Doo movies, you might like this. I just don't like it. So that's my review on Scooby-Doo Curse of the Speed Demon. Thanks for watching.